Okay, so on today's video, um, I'm going to show you how you can copy uh, save files uh, from the SD card onto the uh, memory card for the Wii and the GameCube. Um, this process is done through uh, GCMM. Uh, it's a memory card manager. Uh, I'm going to leave you the links in the description. So you go down. Download gcmm.zip, um, unzip the file, um, and then I'm going to also leave you a link to this website where you get all these different uh, save files, basically unlocks all your games, um, so all you got to do is pick a game, go down the list, pick any game you want. Like, for example, um, I did Crazy Taxi. So you go to Crazy Taxi. Um, so for this one, it gives you a description. Um, this save file has unlocked Crazy Bike and Crazy Box Complete. So you, um, mine would be the NTSC. So that's the one you'd pick to download. But there's PAL and there's the Japan. So you would download the NTSC if you're in the USA. Um, whenever you get this, just go to OK, and then it downloads it automatically. So there it is there. It's a .gci file. I'll show you where to put it on your SD card. So now let's look at the SD card. So here's my SD card here. So under the apps, you would have the GCMM uh, with all the files. Um, Nintendo to, to run the actual uh, GameCube games. And now on the root, uh, you would you would have to make a um, MC backup folder for your save files. Um, I have three so far. So Kirby Air Ride, .gci, Mario Sunshine, Mario Super Strikers. Now we're going to do the Crazy Taxi. So I got to go to downloads. There's a crazy taxi that I did earlier. So drag that into this folder. Um, I like to rename it uh, with bigger letters. See, it's easier to see when you're transferring the files. So we'll go caps crazy taxi .gci. So that's the save file. Um, so that's basically it. Um, now we'll get over on the Wii and, uh, we'll set up Nintendo and I'll show you how to copy the, uh, save files over. Okay. So now over on the Wii, um, insert the, uh, memory card into slot A on the, um, Nintendo Wii and the SD back in the uh, SD slot. Go over to the homebrew channel. Start it up. Now go to the GCMM memory card manager. Press A. Now load. Now grab your um, GameCube controller, uh, when you're on this menu, uh, press the X button, and then press A, which is slot A. Now here's all my save files. Now I've done uh, Kirby Air Ride, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Strikers, as you can see. Um, so we'll do Crazy Taxi. We'll transfer it over. So uh, just press A. Should be fairly quickly. So there you go. That save file has been transferred to the memory card on the Wii. Now press A. Uh, now press home on the Wii remote to bring you back to the Wii menu. And now we'll load up uh, Nintendo to see if the save file is there. So 
There you go. There's Nintendo. Load it up. I should have the four games that I mentioned earlier installed. Um, my games are in the SD card, so that's what I'm going to be picking. So SD. So I got those four games that I mentioned. Uh, press B to go to settings. Uh, make sure you have cheats on. And then memory card emulation, you have to have it off. Um, so the Wii will read the memory card on the actual slot. Um, everything else is fine, so go back. So we'll load up uh, Crazy Taxi. Press A. Make sure you have your GameCube controller. As you can see, it's loading from the memory card. Load successful. So now this game is pretty much all unlocked. So there you go. Um, um, I will end the video here. Uh, it's basically really easy to do. Um, I will leave all the links in the description. Um, and the uh, memory card can be used for the Wii or the GameCube. As long as you have the game and the GameCube, you could do the same thing. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.